All right, well, I just got a text message that there is a swarm. And uh, yeah, looks easy. Let's go get these bees. When it comes to swarm season, I pretty much get everything ready to go, whether that's a sheet or a ladder or extra boxes. And I have like my swarm catching bug out thing together. However, that is not in the vehicle that I am in. Uh, so luckily I was home, I got the message, saw the picture, I'll share that with you guys. Um, that's like the biggest thing that I always ask for when I go out and do swarms is because, you know, sometimes people think that like a, like a paper wasp nest is actually a swarm, but it's actually not. So in order for me to like help educate people and then also do what I do as a beekeeper, um, we, that's what we do. One of the biggest things that I really love um, is the fact that people actually really take the time to, to want to save these bees. Whether they know it or not, they're doing a huge part. So the road's gonna get a little bumpy and uh, yeah. I don't wanna make anybody nauseous, so we're gonna go get these bees. Did you guys get to watch them come in or was it just kind of? No, it was just like this. Like, so, oh, yeah. Like, boom. Okay. Here's a table. Do you want a table instead? No, I should be fine. I just need to make sure that you don't actually have like a crack anywhere and they're not trying to move in. Um, but it's okay. We can get them regardless if they move in. This is still like really early, so. They are beautiful. What a nice swarm. All right, so this is my friend Tiffany and her daughter actually found this swarm and you know, you guys did the really, just the right thing. But here's what's even special, more special about this scenario. So Tiffany is a teacher and you guys have like, what, what, how many kids are you teaching now? Like I've got 19. 19. And so do you want to say hi to them? Hi guys. This, this is a really cool <laughs> opportunity. Um, especially if you guys just, learned about honeybees and the importance. So right now, Tiffany is actually saving thousands of girls. And we're gonna do what we have to do to, uh, to get them in a nice safe home. My biggest goal is I wanna find the queen. If I find the queen, all the other girls will follow and I'll show you, I'll explain everything. So let's get set up and let's catch some bees. So see how they're all kind of moving up? So that makes me feel like, okay, something's happening like right around here. So these are all female. And if I can find a big fat boy, I will show you him. But it's a little dark in this corner, so it's a little, little more challenging. Girls, what are you doing? This is a gentle way. I really enjoy doing this because Basically, eventually they'll all kind of like slowly start walking onto this frame. And then if it gives me an opportunity to actually like see her. So they don't want to sting me. You know, they have nothing to protect. Sometimes they can be a little bit testy. But if you're gentle, You're gentle, they're not gonna hurt you. I don't recommend everybody doing this. So if I had a really good frame of like honey and nectar and, and drawn out, they probably would be a little bit easier on walking down. If she's gone, would they fall with her? Yes. Yes, yeah, so that is kind of why, and sometimes um, I actually find multiple queens uh, because you have to think they're going to better their odds of survival by having multiple queens because what if something happens and like a, a bird gets her? Yeah. They're fascinating little bugs for sure. If it was a flat wall, I'd be like, <laughs> 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 but I got to work with the crevices. Some people will use like a vacuum. It's called a bee vac. I have one, 
I like to do it this way because I really can actually like see her, you know, once I find her. I think this is definitely one of the trickiest little swarms I've gotten in a while. So many little crevices, but see how their movement, they're already kind of, they're gliding up here together. So that's why I'm like, okay, what else is up here? But I am not seeing her. I just heard her again. I think, I think she's in here. Cause I just, I literally just heard her. That high pitch. Yeah, that high pitch. Yeah, I heard it too. Let me just make sure she's not like on the ground somewhere. Okay, wow, well, we're gonna just, what I'm gonna do is definitely just keep this kind of propped and then keep that open. So, so see there are, they are kind of going in. Um, which makes me feel good. And then they're fanning, but I'll show you what I'm nervous about. So this little rock right here, it looks like there's a hole kind of underneath of it. I'm just worried that maybe they're trying to go up there. However, they're not all moving in. So maybe it's too shallow of a place and hopefully this is gonna entice them um, instead of that. So I did not see the queen, but I heard her and she sounded like she was in this box. But they've all pretty much started to migrate down. I do feel good. I feel like we've probably got her. <laughs> so we went ahead and got the majority of the bees actually inside um, one of our new boxes. Now, granted, they are still kind of migrating in and I am watching because there's like a little hole that could potentially be underneath of that rock. Um, I did not see the queen. However, I feel like we really heard her. Um, even you actually were yeah. able to hear it. That high pitch. Um, that's, it's just the coolest sound in the world. Um, but, you know, so what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and just leave them here for a little bit. And then maybe after dark, I'll come back and see if they're all uh, tucked away in there. And then we'll go ahead and take them and then get them, get them relocated. But what's really cool about this rescue is that I think they're going to become beekeepers. Yes. So, I'm <laughs> so this is what this is what it's about. It's about teaching, educating, and then sharing that passion and knowledge. And you were the one that found them, right? Where did you find them? I found them. You found them. <laughs> so thank you for saving all those girls. Because they definitely, definitely not that you guys would have ever done anything um, to hurt them if they didn't call. But we are going to definitely take them and get them a get them a nice new home, and then. Now I get to teach more about beekeeping. Yay! <laughs> All right, I'll keep you guys posted on this colony. We're gonna call this one the tricky, the tricky swarm. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. So I waited until after it was dark to head back over to their house and see if hopefully we were able to get all of the bees. Um, now I was a little worried because the the way the rock appeared on the wall it, it looked as if there could have been a hole um, so i was a little worried that maybe that queen had gone up in there and i'm definitely pleased to say that when i went back over there it appeared that all the bees were in the box so even though i didn't see the queen i knew that she was there i went ahead and locked them up and uh, brought them over to our apiary and they're put up there with the other nukes definitely exhausting <laughs> absolutely exhausting um, but again you know part of what i'm doing is not just about catching bees it's about teaching and sharing and encouraging and the fact that you know the fact that they stepped up and called and said hey can you save these bees of course i'm gonna do that now i think it's safe to say it's time for bed bye guys